Okay, this is part two of the uh, um, how to set up Xplain for um, remote control. So at this point we've already set up Xplain, uh, we've installed it as in the part one video. So the next thing we do is set up the software to control it. So let's go to the following page, University of Brighton dot Google Pages dot com slash explain. And this page contains everything we need. So let's pretend we're working at home on our own computer. We've installed the explain demo from here. That's all done in part one. Um, then we need to install the software um, and you just click here. Let's just have a quick look at that. Click in there. Microsoft. This is all free of charge. Visual Studio 2010. That's the one you want. And you click on this one. Visual C Sharp 2010 Express. So let's click on that and move down the page a bit. Installation options, install now. That's what you do. Okay, so let's, um, let's pretend we've done all that and we've installed Visual C Sharp 2010 Express. Okay, so we've done the second part. The third part now, this is the crucial bit, um, uh, probably not as straightforward. Uh, we download and unzip the following code which contains a little little demo. So click on that link and, and we've downloaded it here, explain.zip. So let's open it. I've opened it here. I click on the folder, extract all files. Um, where do we want to put it? You can put this anywhere you want. You can put it on your M drive, um, on your desktop. So I'm just going to put it on the desktop. Click OK. Show files when complete. Extract. Um, it's done it. Here it is. Explain. Double click on that. Um, and that's that's that that's that bit done. So if you notice, there are um, a couple of files in here. There's a folder, and then there's um, the explain. Microsoft Visual Studio Solution. It's got a figure of eight on its side, a blue figure of eight or an infinity symbol. That's the one, that's the one we want. So you can, if you've got Visual Studio 2010 installed on your computer, you can just double click it. Um, my computer's, a, I've got a few more options, so I'm going to have to right click, open with Visual Studio 2010. I've just clicked it. I'm waiting for it to open. Okay, it's opened here. Um, a blank screen. Now, on the right hand side, you'll see you've got Solution Explorer. So just click on the Solution Explorer. There's a pin there, the Auto Hide button. See if we just if we don't, if that's not on, and you move the mouse out of the way, it disappears. So let's put the mouse there and put the pin in to hold it, and then double click on Form One. And here we have the window. Um, 
the window contains a label. Here's the label. Oops, it's still loading. Have to wait a bit. Okay, it's finished loading. So on this window, there's the label. We don't actually do anything with it. Um, and further down here, you can see you've got a timer, which is the control system. So let's go back up to the top. Um, and we should just be able to run it. If you run that, um, yeah, before you do this, you need to get uh, explain running um, in, a, in a separate window on your computer screen. And then when you run this by pressing the the run button, um, what's this message? Firewall blocked it. Allow access. And um, a window pops up like this, um, and it is showing a parameter in that label. Um, and to stop the program, you just close it there. Okay, that's to show how the program, how you how you run it, and how you stop it. So you run it by pressing the start button, and you st stop it by closing it. Now to look at what the code does, just double click anywhere. You can double click here or you can double click on the timer um, just to get into the code. I'm double clicking here and this is the code. I'll just take you through it. Uh, these are the initial conditions. So the initial conditions, it just opens the connection to explain. And then these, this is the loop. Um, there's a timer in here, which is counting in uh, tenths of a second. Um, so at zero seconds, the elevator is set to zero, aileron is zero, rudder zero, brakes are set full on. Full on is one. Um, half on is 0.5 and full off is zero. The throttle is set to zero. Now at five seconds, i.e. 50 tenths of a second, the elevator is set to full full deflection. And at seven seconds, the elevator is set to full negative deflection. And, um, and then in the, in the label, to the label there, the airspeed is being displayed in that format and it just keeps going round and round this loop forever and the timer is always being updated in tenths of a second and if you run this you should see the elevator deflect at five seconds and at seven seconds it goes the other way and that's all it does.